Hello, my name is Sam Cleary and I've been asked to show you my um, wash system for a calf feeding area and uh, here it is. I'll try to be as brief as possible, um, although I'm sure I'll ramble. So right here, how the system works is we have a uh, reservoir system that collects the milk coming down from the robots and then every day, morning and night, we transfer it over to the white tank and then they're fed the calves are fed gravity and vacuum. You can see here they have access to these nipples out here along these milk lines. So this has to be washed morning and then rinsed out at night, refilled. We wash it with a uh, flush system here. I have a hot water valve. I just flip this on. My tank up there starts filling up with a float on top, uh, up top so I can quickly I get access to hot water for both the um, reservoir system and the nipple bar or um, dishwasher I call it over here in the bottle washer so here we have our milk lines that get washed rinsed out um, along these PVC's we have underneath this we have just uh, some tubing to get on the inside this these towers get everything on the outside and then these ones just sit on these nipples here okay and then so we have access to water so I just turn everything on it leaks a little bit at this point but flushes everything and then I just go through through the, the cycle you can see here if I open these up a little bit so I don't get too sprayed um, they go everywhere Okay, and then these outside towers do the everything externally. Okay, if I have everything going full bore, it, uh, it usually does a pretty good job of washing it all. I'll have a lid on it. I'll put this lid on it so that I can have everything going and pumping properly. Uh, and then over here we have uh, the bottles, bottle washers. So right here it's just PVC pipe. Um, I can do wash three bottles at a time. And the way I do that is I, I divert the water over here, open everything up again, and then it'll come along this poly pipe up here, and then there's four options of cleaning uh, these bottles here. And then if I open up a couple just to get rid of the pressure, you'll see they'll spray like that. But if they're fully going, it's a bit stronger. Okay, and I'll just cycle through them all, give them a good rinse, come back here, Turn this off, the, the fresh water. I'll open up this valve here, which comes to and from the uh, pump. So I have a push pump, um, pressure pump, I guess, on the on the ground here, connected with um, the sink drain. So I'll close these drains so that it's a closed system. I'll come back here to this uh, reservoir up here. I'll open this drain. This valve, it'll flush hot water into here. I'll throw in my chlorine. And then I'll uh, let that mix. And I'll come back starting with my milk lines. I'll turn on the pump. And now, everything comes from, from the the drain here and then circulates and then goes up to the pump and then back up this poly back into the system and goes down it's all spraying in there now and then it'll recycle and continue on so then I'll just let everything I'll cycle everything 30 seconds on each of these usually and then I'll switch it over to the uh, bottles here and uh, and they'll just you can see the water in there they'll it'll spray come up and then cycle down underneath back to the pump one thing I would change with this system would be this that top there I, I glued everything on drilled the holes and realized the hole was slightly too big so I had to put wet bond on top and then re-drill them smaller However, I would make that a screw top with the holes so that you can replace them, but also flush them out and clean them. 
I get straw or shavings or something stuck in them and they don't work as well. So I gotta unplug them frequently. So I would make it so you could screw them off and then, uh, and then be able to, to wash that system. So everything is made with, um, to fit this sink. So I can use this sink for storing milk or washing bottles exterior on the exterior. And then I use these two for the dishwasher. Everything is poly, uh, sorry, not poly, PVC, glued and joints and took a lot of measuring to make sure everything could fit kind of properly. Um, you know, it's uh, because I'm so tight and I tried to fit as much as I could in here, it, um, it was a bit constrained. It was a bit constrained um, for how all this would fit, but if you're just looking for bottles and nipples, you could easily line up a bunch of these kind of nipple holders right along each other with these exteriors and you could get quite a bit done. Um, I welded these stainless steel, they're kind of pricey, but I welded them together so that I could make this little grid here and everything worked kind of well. Um, oh, the way these, the way this works so that it only comes down one row, I had to, I put hoof trimming glue for, you put blocks on in between as I glued so that, um, so that it can only go down here and then out. It can't come down here and then through the next one, through the next, otherwise nothing would come out with any kind of sort of pressure. And then I had to do some work around here to make it work. Um, yeah, so I have this configuration that has not been finished. It's gonna be a bucket washer. Same concept, you set this bucket on here with a sprayer and with a pump underneath, but I have way more things I should be doing instead of that. So um, give that a try. Reach out if you have any questions. Thanks for listening.